Kevin Rudd has made a flying visit to Tasmania to reveal the 31 projects set to receive cash from the Forest Peace Deal. Almost a quarter of the $100 million fund designed to diversify Tasmania's ailing economy will go to the forest industry. The Greens are furious Tar Ann's been promised more taxpayer money, while the opposition's labelled the handouts an election slush fund. State political reporter Brad Markham. Tasmania's federal Labor MPs are banking on voters, embracing Kevin Rudd as wildly as these Devonport students. Okay, here we go. The Prime Minister used his first trip to the state since being reinstated to go on a pre-election cash splash. Yeah. What if you do, so you don't mess it up. Kevin Rudd revealed how a $100 million fund to diversify Tasmania's economy will be spent. This is uh, an important day for Tasmania. 400 projects were vying for a slice of the peace deal money. At least 31 have been successful. Hewan Aquaculture has been promised $3.5 million to expand its operations near Sassafras. There's $4 million for a fish protein and oil plant at Triabunna, $6 million to extend the gas pipeline to Smithton, $9 million for the Dial Blythe irrigation scheme in the northwest, and $5 million for an economic development project at Kangaroo Bay in Hobart. Important projects that help to grow new jobs in industries that we know have a strong future. We've been very mindful that this is about uh, short, medium and very much the long-term future of jobs in Tasmania. I believe that this state can have a first-class future. Almost a quarter of the diversification funding will be piped into the forest industry. Britain Timbers is set to receive $1 million to expand. Other projects include $5 million to retrieve specialty timbers flooded during hydroelectric dam construction, $4 million for Oakdale Industries to laminate timber, and Tar Ann's to get $7.5 million to construct a plywood mill at Smithton, a plant it had promised to build without taxpayers' help. We don't support that money. We think all of this fund should have been used to create jobs in areas that genuinely transform the state's economy. The money going to the forestry industry is about downstream processing. It's about backing those companies that are creating manufacturing jobs in Tasmania which are sustainable. Four and a half million's been set aside for initiatives to boost tourism and the state government's been given 11 million dollars to spend. What that demonstrates is that it's not only a slush fund for the federal election, it's also a slush fund for the state election. The exact number of jobs to be created remains unclear. Over the next six to 12 months it will be hundreds, that will lead to thousands. That all hinges on the forest peace deal surviving another crucial vote in the upper house. Brad Markham.